Leary here from Merle Norman. I'm a makeup artist and a licensed esthetician, and I'm here to show you how to create the perfect pillow lips. So let's do it. So when we're doing a look like this, honestly, anyone can use it, but it's for fuller, plump, plush looking lips, which is such a trend right now. And what you wanna do is you wanna start with highlight and contour. I'm just gonna take a little bit of dual action concealer. And now remember, when you're dealing with contrast, you're wanting to make sure that light is what's gonna be pushing things forward and dark is what's going to be making things appear to recede. So I'm actually just gonna take a little bit of concealer and do three dots like that and three dots like that. I'm going to take a number seven face brush, use just the tip, and I'm going to blend that out. And you want to use a little bit of tapping motion so we don't disturb anything underneath this concealer, as well as it just stays right where we want it. You can see already that top and bottom little portion of the lip just kind of pop forward. Now I'm gonna take the Bronzing Duo in Matte. I'm gonna use the darker side on a number one eyes brush, and I'm just gonna use the tip. And this, again, you want it to be a shadow, so we're just barely putting anything there. I'm just going to go a little bit like this, a little bit like this. Trust, trust the process. And a little bit under the lip on the outside. Take the brush we just used and kind of tap that out. Now you obviously could wear a look like this anytime you wanted to, um, but nighttime might be nice or family photos or if you're doing some sort of photo shoot, be a great way to use this look. I'm going with our tinted lip balm in Lollipop. And when I apply this, I want it to be more of like a bitten look. So I'm just putting it on in dabbing motions and then pressing the lips together. I want a little bit more saturation of color in the middle of the lips rather than the outside of the lips. This color is going to be a little bit lighter and more vibrant in color rather than the lip liner we're gonna be using next. And honestly, the reason why we're doing that is to create, again, contrast. So it's gonna be darker and then a little bit more lighter and more punchy of our color to make that lips look pouty. Now we're going in with plush lip liner in Sugar Pie. Now you are gonna to wanna to overdraw your lips, specifically more in the center of the lips. So down here and on the top. And when I say overdraw, you basically want to go to the edge of where your lip starts. Again, we're going to follow the line on the outside and overdraw in the middle on the top. Just like that. You're gonna take your lip brush and I'm going to feather this in so that it creates this beautiful seamless look. You just want to make sure that when you're blending it in in the center you don't want to make that too dark. You want to blend most of the deep saturation of that liner on the outside corners. Look at those beautiful, plump, luscious lips. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of the color in the center. Push, you're not smearing like this. You're pushing the lips together. A little makeup artist trick is to take that liner and to draw a line in the center of your lip.
Can you see that line of demarcation? And again, that's just to draw that section of that lip in and so that everything around it looks more plump and full. Lip brush again, ever so gently blend that out. And I'm using tapping motions. All right, so here is the final lip look. Mm. Hope these tips helped you feel really strong about creating that beautiful, very on-trend pillow lip. Thank you all so much for being here, and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, loves.